to the Digital Moneta channel. Today we went down to Block Forge in Mesa, Arizona and picked up two of the Ant Miner Z9 40,000K Soul Miners. And we're going to try to get them um, unboxed up and hashing today for you. So let's get to it. Got the instructions with the warranty card. And it is sealed, much like these little Z9 minis were when we unboxed them. It is sealed in a bag. And there we go. And we've got the control board up on top. It will require one power, one, uh, and we've got the control board power supply up on top. It's going to require one PCI uh, connector. And it looks like each hashing board will require two PCIe connectors. And that'll be a total of seven PCIe uh, connectors for power for this unit and we're going to power these using the APW7 power supplies which actually has 10 connectors so we'll be covered. Now one thing I want to point out is these actually say 42k so i thinking that these guys might actually do 42,000 souls and if that's the case that's an additional 2,000 souls over what they had advertised and that actually equates to about uh one GPU miner with uh, six to eight uh, 1060 cards in it. So that extra 2K is actually quite substantial. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect this up to a power supply. So just for comparison purposes, this is the Ant Miner Z9 full size, the 40K uh, soul miner. And this is the Z9 Mini, uh, which does about 10,000. We've actually overclocked them up to around 14, 15,000 souls. Uh, and you can see they are essentially half the size. So you're just looking at double the size for the full size versus the mini. So now let's go ahead and we're going to set these up using the APW7 uh, power supplies from Bitmain. And so let's go ahead and connect it up. It's going to require seven of these PCIe connectors. So we'll go ahead and connect those up. So now we have all of those connected. It's time to go ahead and deploy the miner. And now for the moment of truth. And we can hear it starting to ramp up. And we're starting to approach 1100 uh, watts and now it's going to ramp back down and now it's settling in just over a thousand watts so let's go see if we can get this set up in the software and mining to uh, our wallet rather than ant miners okay now we're over at the computer and it's time to configure that new z9 40k so ant miner we just need to find the ip address that it resides on and in this case it's the 192.168.0.108 on our router and when we hit enter it's going to ask for the password and username and traditionally 
assuming they didn't change anything that's going to be a root and it looks like it that's the case and so we can see this was the file system was created on this ant miner on september 13th let's go ahead and see if we can see the miner status and sure enough over promise these were marketed as 40k we are averaging close to 42k which is what the sticker on the ant miner actually said on the z9 full-size miner and we're showing a frequency of 500 and so let's go into the configuration and looks like under the advanced settings we have balance and turbo before we get to that we need to configure this ant miner to send funds to our wallet versus ant miner so the first thing we're going to want to do is configure our different pools the first pool we're going to use for our ant miner is going to be zhash pro and that zhash.pro will include a link uh, in, down below in the comments and when you land on their home page you'll go to select pool and with this miner we're going to actually mine zcash in the past we've done a lot of zen all of our z9 minis we have seven of them are doing uh, zen or horizon so on our two uh, z9s that we got in the 42k units we're gonna mine zcash so we select zcash and then you want to click on the connect button and that's going to give you your pools we need usa since we're in the usa and we want to use the one that is dedicated to your asics and that is going to be this pool here and they will actually show you what you need to put in for your code under the asic tab so in this case this is the actual address we want to put in worker is going to be your wallet address and then you can put a worker id by adding a period and your id and then password of x so we've go ahead and copy the actual address we're going to paste that here worker is going to be our wallet address so we're going to paste that there and then we're going to add a period and we're going to name this one moneta and then our password will be x and so for our backup pools we are going to use bitmain's ant pool to do the zcash mining for us so we jump over to ant pool uh, home page and we'll click on zcash go to the dashboard and then we need once we're in the dashboard we need to jump over to workers we're going to create a worker for this and we'll name it moneta to keep it consistent and now that worker has been created we'll go ahead and copy and paste that worker over here and we're going to actually use two of their pools for backup and so then we will use the pool two and pool three on ant pool as backup to our main pool for zhash pro for mining uh, zcash so once we have all those settings in place we will go ahead and hit save and apply that's going to actually reboot the miner and change these settings so that the miner is mining to us rather than bitmain and right now we can see it's rebooting and now we can see it's starting to come back online and we can see our changes have taken effect over here we can see that it now has our zhash pool and our wallet address and then on the two backups it has our workers name in place of the ant pool workers and so it looks like our configuration was successful and we're starting to get back up into the 40k soul area however we do have that one mystery setting under the advanced under minor configuration under the advanced settings we have balance which we know is the 500 uh, frequency and we have turbo so i'm going to let it run for a little bit and see what the average stakes out to be before 
we switch that over to the turbo. Okay, so we've been letting it run for over 15 minutes, actually 16 minutes now, and we're averaging 43,000 plus souls on the hash rate. That is equivalent to four, maybe even five additional 1080 Ti cards. So if you can imagine in that cost of four or five 1080 Ti cards to get this additional hash rate, when we were only expecting a 40,000 hash rate. But with that said, let's get over to that turbo setting and see what that's going to do to this thing. So we select turbo. Under the Minor Configuration tab, Advanced Setting tabs, we select Turbo. And let's see what that's going to do to our hash rate, if anything. So the Miner's rebooting now. And so it's coming back online now, and we can see it bumped the frequency from 500 up to 550. So we'll see what that actually has to do with uh, performance. And we'll be back in a few to see what effect that has. Okay, so now after 10 minutes of being up at the 550 frequency, we can see that we're averaging around 47,000 souls on the turbo mode under the configuration tab. So again, under the configuration advanced, the turbo setting, appears to be averaging 47,000 souls, uh, which again is a great boost. We were only expecting 40,000 souls advertised, and to get an additional 7,000 souls is about 10 1080 Ti GPU cards on top of what we were expecting. So if you calculate it in an additional price point of 10 1080 Ti GPU cards, that alone pays for the unit. And again, another refresh, we're 12 minutes in, and it looks like at the turbo setting, we're gonna average uh, over 47,000 souls. Quite happy with that. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. If you could do us a favor, spike that like button so other people can find this video. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a few updates on these miners. We're going to try a few other tests to see if we can get the hash rate up a little. Uh, we'll also check in on the pools and we can see the hash rates are starting to come in there. Uh, we'll do a revenue forecast in the near future. We'll have a video on that. So until next time, keep hashing away and we'll see you in the next video.